Egypt's ousted leader Hosni Mubarak released from jail and brought to a military hospital where he will be held under house arrest. It is Wednesday, August 22nd. Welcome to Lunch Break. I'm Wendy Bounds. Mubarak's release threatens to stoke further violence in Egypt today. Join us now from Cairo with the report is WSJ's Tamar El Gobashi. Thanks so much for being with us. Uh, what, what actually sparked uh, the, his release to begin with? Well, um, his release coincided with uh, a number of trials that he's been under uh, under uh, here in Cairo starting um, in 2011. Uh, he's been hit with charges in separate cases ranging from corruption to uh, being complicit in the murder of protesters during the uprising that uh, brought down his, his rule. Uh, what happened was is that he is awaiting trial on that most serious charge of uh, being complicit in the murder of protesters. And in the meantime, he has um, been going through court procedures that no longer can keep him in prison under Egyptian law, as been interpreted by this judge. It's been a week, a couple of weeks of major upheaval where you are. Tell us a little bit about what the mood is on the streets and how this latest turn of events with Mubarak's release is affecting that. Well, it's been relatively quiet over the past two or three days. Uh, certainly the news of uh, Mubarak's release, um, you know, kind of threatened to stoke or disturb that calm, but it hasn't. In, in reality, there hasn't been much of a reaction on the street. On social media, people have, you know, expressed uh, complete shock at the timing of this, uh, but there has not been any... Uh, tangible uh, reaction in the street outside of the prison where he was held. Uh, a, a few dozen uh, supporters of Mr. Mubarak showed up today uh, to celebrate his release. But other than that, it's it's been very quiet. But you know, it it remains to be seen. Tomorrow's Friday, which is for, you know first day of the weekend and a traditional protest day here in Egypt. It remains to be seen how people will react tomorrow. He was taken to a military hospital, but I understand there have been conflicting reports about the actual conditions of his health. Uh, it's been that way for at least two and a half years now. Mr. Mubarak has gone from uh, you know being reported to be in perfect health to being on his deathbed to being in a coma. Uh, pictures uh, released today of his release show show him in a uh, hospital gurney being transported by helicopter into an ambulance, and appearing to be you know, conscious, alert, and uh, you know his his last few court appearances in which he actually showed up, he appeared to be well. And you mentioned earlier that he faces retrial on charges of complicity in the killing of uh, nearly 900 protesters in Egypt's 2011 uprising. When does the trial resume? The trial will resume on Sunday, the uh, first day of the work week here in Egypt, August 25th. Uh, it's a hearing uh, in, in regards to that case. All right. Thanks so much for being with us. We'll continue to come to you for more reports on this. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. My pleasure.